that at all. If we signed up for the UAW's request, instead of making money and distributing $75,000 in profit share in the last 10 years, we would have lost $15 billion and gone bankrupt by now. You've seen a 34% pay increase in your salary. You make almost $30 million. Why should your workers not get the same type of pay increases that you're getting? We think we have a very competitive offer on the table, and that's why we want to get back there and get this done. Last year, these companies spent $9 billion not to improve the lives of their workers, but to pay for stock buybacks, and dividends to make their wealthy stockholders even richer. Meanwhile, the average wage for American auto workers has decreased by 30% after adjusting for inflation. You want to know why you're out on strike right now? That's the reason. Without our labor, this country couldn't function. They say that we're asking for too much. But really, it's the CEOs and the corporate leaders that are having too much. There's no reason that they should be making, you know, three, four hundred times more than what I make or what my union brothers and sisters make. Are you really, is your time really worth three or four hundred times more? Do you really work three or four hundred times harder than we do? No, you don't. Every human being wants to provide a better life for their family. That's what we work for. That's what we go to work every day for. So a 40% raise, that would finally make us feel like what we're doing is actually respected. Since 1948, COLA, the cost of living adjustment, has been part of every single UAW contract until 09. You all took the biggest hit. Plant closures destroyed communities. You guys got rid of COLA. You did everything you were supposed to do so you can keep them afloat. And now that you're all struggling, our retirees are struggling, now they want to turn their backs to you while they give themselves 300 to four times more in pay. They want to use scare tactics now, saying we're going to wreck the economy. In their economy, one of our workers would have to work 400 years to make what a CEO makes in one year. We're not going to wreck the economy. We're going to wreck their economy. I like how Sean Fain is aggressive. The thing about Sean Fain's leadership is he's accountable to the membership. He's the first UAW leader that was directly democratically elected by the membership. You know, he's he's actually doing what the members want. He's taking our demands. They're not the president's demands, but the members' demands and taking them to the companies. You know, it's not just about him having a cushy job at Solidarity House or being a big-time union boss. It's about fighting for your members, and so I respect him for that.